Bonjour YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I am Neuralex. This is going to be my reaction for episode 5 of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier called Truth. If you are new to Neuralex Live, please subscribe. You can even click the bell to make sure you do not miss my next video. So the last episode was pretty insane. A lot happened. I'm not going to recap everything. I'm just going to tell you what are my questions going in this episode. What is going to be the world and the United States response for Walker's action? Where did Zemo go? Who is the power broker? And what is going to be his response for losing the serum? And after losing her friend, what is Carly going to do? Zemo was right. It's all about escalation. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, episode 5. Here we go. Why, he, run, he ran away? Oh my god, he's really losing it. Oh my god. Ah, shit, huh? That image is a... He killed Lamar! He didn't kill Lamar, John. Don't go down that road. Believe me, it doesn't end well. I'm not like you. We don't want anyone else to get hurt. The blood on the shield. You gotta give me the shield, man. Oh. You made a mistake. You don't want to do this. Oh, yeah, we boy. do. Oh. oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. Keep it. Why are you making me do that? Just. Oh. Oh shit. It broke his arm. The flip wing move. Wow. We could have been a team. Oh. The shield in the middle of him. Oh! I am Captain America. No, you're. Oh my god, he was about to kill him too! That's it, Bucky! Oh my god, they broke his arm! It's over, John. It's mine. Oh! Oh! Oh shit. I was not expecting a triple threat fight right from the start. Oh, look at this shot. Oh my god, did you see the way he looked at him? Like, this would not have happened if you would have taken the shield from the start. That's a very rough start. The longer we let her regroup, the harder it's going to be to find her. I agree. How these break? Anyway. Um, Don't ask questions, man. Wait, yo, you forgot the wings. Keep them. 
keep them. No more wings in this show. Oh boy. John F. Walker. You were hereby stripped of your title and authority as Captain America, effective immediately. It's only because of your previous exemplary service to this country that I'm recommending against a court martial. <clears throat> With all due respect, Senator, mandate. he's just asking to be heard. It is a mandate. I, I understand that. Oh. I live my life by your mandates. I dedicated my life to your mandates. You will hold no rank in retirement and receive no benefits. Wow. You built me. I am Captain America. Uh. Not anymore. Consider yourself extremely fortunate, Mr. Walker, and return the shield to us with expedience. He's just leaving before the guy even finished talking. Ugh. Wait, who's that? Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. Actually, it's Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. Who? Yeah. I would have killed the bastard too, but. These guys in ties, you know, they got a whole thing to protect. Who are you? Anyway. Anyway. You did the right thing. Taking the serum. I'll be in touch. There's, there's nothing on it. <laughs> okay. Hmm. He's going to get recruited for some black ops mission or something. How many times do we have to pay with our lives just to be citizens of this goddamn planet? She's gonna snap, she's gonna... Uh, They're not going to stop. Not unless we make them. I'm afraid she's gonna do something terrible. The memorial? Oh, ho, ho. Thought you'd be here sooner. I was busy. Oh, I've decided I'm not going to kill you. Imagine my relief. <laughs> do what needs to be done. Carly has people everywhere. We're gonna do it our own way. Yeah. Oh shit, he's gonna kill him cold blood? Surprise! I am. Oh, oh, bravo, bravo. Amazing. Goodbye, James. Why am I sad to see Zemo go? Hey. I have another favor to ask of you. Oh, I wonder what's that gonna be? Fight for this country. Only to come home to find crosses burn on their lawn. I'm from the South. I get that. Blonde hair, blue eyes, stars and stripes. Ouch. Our world's been chasing that great white hope since he first got dosed for that sir. Steve did not put you in jail. True. She died while I was in jail. Never let a single one of her letters get to me. He told her I was dead. Then after a while, she was gone. And uh, they tell us it's tetanus. They sent us on missions. A couple of the boys get captured on a mission. So. I bust out of the facility one night and I brought them boys back and what did I get for saving their lives prison they experimented on me trying to figure out why the serum worked there was a nurse she took pity on me she had me declared dead. Oh. That's who gave me this. 
Man, that story is so sad. Pledge allegiance to that, my brother. They will never let a black man be Captain America. No self-respecting black man would ever want to be. Man, this is brutal. Like, I was not expecting that. That whole episode is unexpected so far. I didn't expect a big battle at the beginning, like right away from starting up. And then this. Yeah, how many people still owe mom and dad something? All of them. All that's left for sure. It might be time to call in a few of those favorites. Yeah. And Paul Youngest boy from up the street. From all the favors that his parents gave to others. Repair that boat, man. Yeah, we still got a bit of usefulness in us. Well, how do we get it off the truck? Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> He's back. I'm dropping this off. I called in a favor from the Wakandans. Whoa, is that a new wingsuit made by, made by Wakanda? That would be crazy. Wow. Why didn't he use the metal arm? I don't always think of it immediately. I'm right-handed. <laughs> this is the boat, huh? This is it. I'm right-handed. You want any help? Yeah, James can help. I'm back here. Uh, being very friendly with the sister. <laughs> Man, show us the new suit. He's the one that killed our boy? Yes. And I would never let the person who did that get away. Oof. I know. He's resting easier, knowing that the man who's responsible got his justice. Ah, oh, man. Don't tell me every day what an honor it was to be your partner. It meant the world to him. Man, he's so gonna go after Carly. He's so gonna go after her to kill her. Oh, man, look at, look at him. Look at his eyes. It's like looking at the poster of a movie that bombed hard at the box office. Oh, that's Baltrug. That's GSP. I can give you double this time. I promise you won't regret saying yes. So what's it going to be? Wait, Sharon is hiring Baltrug? kind of feel like Bucky would make a good captain now. Like now. With everything he went through, he decided not to kill Zemo. You know, like he's grown, you know? Okay. The legacy of that shield is complicated, to say the least. Mm-hmm. When Steve told me what he was planning, I don't think either of us really understood what it felt like for black man be handed the shield. I owe an apology. I'm sorry. Oh, nice. It's just that shield's the closest thing I've got left to a family. So when you retired it, it made me feel like I had nothing left. I understand that. But Steve is gone. And this might be a surprise, but it doesn't matter what Steve thought. <laughs> you gotta stop looking to other people to tell you who you are. True. I agree with that. You. You're still having those nightmares? All the time? You go to these people and say sorry. Because you think it'll make you feel better. But you gotta make them feel better. You gotta go to them and be of service. I'm sure there's at least one person in that book who 
people needs closure about something, and you're the only person who can give. Oh them. my God, he's gonna go to see the does. the old Asian Sorry. guy. You know Carly won't quit. You call me when you have a lead, and I'll be there. Oh man, it's so nice to see them on the same page. Not necessarily as a team. Nope. We're not that good. Definitely not. <laughs> we're professionals, definitely. and we're partners, co-workers. Co-workers. Of course. Oh, that was so nice. Now I want to see what's in that briefcase that Bucky brought. Is that a new suit, new wings, made of Wakandan technology? Come on, show us. They're going to keep it for the finale, I guess. <laughs> I hope so, Leia. The guy, your brother fought Thanos. There's a fight out there, and then there's our fight here. And, bro, you have taken them both on. What would be the point of all the pain and sacrifice if I wasn't willing to stand up and keep fighting? Not Ooh. <laughs> On your left. You gotta love training montage, right? Always good. Look at him run in slow motion. Reminds me of a Rocky or something. Badass. Oh, Carly. I got some help to even out the odds. Sam screwed him out of a small fortune not long ago. Oh shit. Bonjour. Bonjour. Et voilà. Et voilà. So we're working with criminals now. Haven't you heard? We are criminals. You invite me here for a picnic or what? Un test en quelque sorte. Nous sommes pas tous et nulle part, c'est pourquoi nous allons gagner. Yeah, she could work on her French accent. <laughs> I'm only here to kill the fuck. You'll get your chance. Tonight we go to battle. All of us. Oh boy, eh? Escalation. New York? Just before the flag smashers hit. Clearly they're all over Europe. Earlier today, we got one from New York. I'll take it from here. Oh boy, showdown in New York City! I can make a call and have the refugees move now. We're not rounding them up like cattle. They can't stay where they are forever. Oh boy. Open the briefcase! Don't turn the camera. I want to see. Oh, look at Sam's face. He's like, whoa. Okay. Man, please don't. Please don't. No. Uh, I want to see that new suit. <laughs> Tease. Maybe I was right. Maybe they're going to just wait till the season finale, you know? I know there's a after credit, mid credit scene, so I'm sticking around, but man, I was not expecting that episode to be honest, because like it started with that triple threat action between Sam Bucky and Walker. Great fight sequence, by the way. But I thought that episode was very emotional. I mean, the scene with Isaac, the scene with Walker at the court scene with Lamar's family. Very emotional. And all that buddy-buddy time with Bucky and Sam and repairing the ship. And also Bucky choosing not to kill Zemo. Giving him a way to Wakanda, man. I mean, like, you can see the growth of those characters. They're not like going in circle like things are happening one thing i don't understand is why did we saw sharon talk to baltrock and then baltrock coming to carly and just before the raid on that grc meeting i mean i thought 
like Sharon was not I don't know that's the only thing that bugs me oh what is he doing Oh my god, he's building his own shield? <laughs> he's building his own shield. He's not done. Oh yeah, Walker is totally gonna go against Carly to kill her. Wow, that promises to be... I, f I feel that episode is a bit like the calm before the ultimate storm kind of thing <laughs> in the sense that clearly walker is gonna go after carly and everything's gonna happen in new york and bucky's gonna get there and sam with his new suit new suit i guess i guess that's what it is and the whole world is gonna see what's up wow that should be that should be one hell of a finale seriously i'm pumped for it next week Wow. So even though I felt that episode was a bit long, like like they could have cut a little bit, I think it was deserved that we see a break and where those characters go back to their more normal lives, I guess. Especially Sam. I I love that he made like kind of made peace with Bucky and they're on the same page now and he accepts that he needs to be the new Captain America and he's training for it like it's all very exciting it's weird because even though I there's parts of me who hates Walker that new Captain America like who hates him who by the way like he doesn't he doesn't accept that he's not Captain America no I am Captain America that's me I am even though like he killed that guy and there's a part of me that feels for him so much, especially when he said, all I've been doing is everything you told me, you built me, and now they're just throwing him away. But they pushed that guy, like, that was so much pressure. And yeah, like, you give the medal to somebody who's, like, borderline PTSD from Afghanistan, that might happen. That might happen. Anyway. So that was my reaction for episode 5 of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Please tell me what you thought about it in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Neuralex. Check out my Patreon, check out my Discord, and check out my merch. Thank you again for watching this. I am Neuralex. Until we see each other again, guys, stay safe.